Hello Doraemons, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to look into the Unix question which is asked on 14th of March. I know guys you have might have solved it because I have solved these type of questions already in my previous videos. So I think this would be really easy for you guys. And I wanted to once again show how to just uh, go with this question and how to solve it once again so just i'm choosing this question and i also need a little suggestion from you guys that i'll be informing in the end of the video so make sure you are watching the video till the end so without further ado let's first solve the question and then we'll move on to the other parts so just look into the question we have write a command to display leave id leave type and month for the approved leaves which approved is equal to yes and month field should be extracted from the doa e date of application which is this column so we have to print the leave id the leave type and only the month from this column which is given in the format of date dd mm and yy uh, we have to just only fetch this month so you guys know already it is into a single column first thing we have to make it into separate columns so you know that by just changing the field separator we can make them into very separate columns but we have to also ignore this first uh, the column header first so we should just remove that first anyway we are going to take only the uh, rows which has this approved status is equal to yes so first we can do that so first i'm taking grep of i when i and is equal to yes it is going to only fetch you the rows which has the approved column yes yes so now as you can see the header column is also got omitted so now we'll go into the next part so it should display like this right here so it should display like this uh, the output first the leave id leave type and also only the month separated by colons so here itself i'm going to make this dob column into separate separate columns so to do that i'm going to use a tr command if you guys don't know what is a tr command the tr command is used to change the field separator from any of the symbols to the symbol which you want so just put tr and put the symbol which is already existing there here they are using iphon so i'm just going to put iphon over here and uh, in this place and i'm going to give a space and change it into comma which is the field separator used here now if i run you can see all the iphons got removed and all are replaced by a comma so now it is pretty easy to print everything so now this one is considered as column one and this is as column two and this one is column three four five and six so now we are going to just print those columns and if not we are going to print no data found since uh there may be options if no read got approved then we are going to print no date found so as usual we are going to use the op command let's do that so put another one pipe and you know already how arc command works you have to put the arc and then you will put a single quotes inside it you will give begin with a space and inside this we will be opening fs and put the existing field separator oh uh, it is the high time you should be known what is a field separator if not you can refer to my previous videos so here in this place i'm going to print only column one two and five so here it is one two and five only the months so now just print all dollar one and we have to separate it with this colon you can even use a tr command in the end if there is no possibility of printing no data found column instead of putting it here you can just put column and comma column two like that if in case this no data found is not required there are promising outputs in that case you can use tr command at the end to change the field separators but here we have a case where we have no data found so i'm using this here itself in the print part so now let's run and yeah 
we almost got the output of first one only some space which is popping out okay it's not a problem you will not get any space because i've given my input manually but in your case it's not going to be the same if you want to practice this question this question is available in my blog post in my in down below you can go to the website and you can click on the ira unix question and the question will be available with the date so make sure you search with the date and here there is one more case we have to print no data found so for that i'm going to declare a variable right over here in the fs part you have to put a semicolon and i'm declaring a variable called zero see in a uh, bash only when you're changing the values to some other value then it should be declared if you're directly assigning a value to the variable then declaration is not required okay so in this n in this part itself if it like print something i'm going to increment the c if you put semicolon or not it's going to not consider it if you put semicolon it will work if you not put semicolon it will work back is a very very friendly language and it gives high support so it is not required in some cases um if you put semicolon you have to put everywhere if you do not put semicolon you don't have to put anywhere so if c is equal to equal to zero if it been zero for a longer time even after going through this loop then we have to print like no data found let's put print and here also you it's not necessary you have to put that round braces and then put inside you can directly put no data found as simple as that so now it will not work if i change these let's remove this yes even if it is not having that yes the grep command will not work so oh, i'm just removing the yes yes thing and run boom we got the note data found so this is the easiest question and probably the next video will be your java video so uh, let me go know guys whether you require java or not because i don't find a lot of response for java uh, or if you feel something like difficult you can let me know that and there are some people who are asking like put me some tutorials for python and java and you are not comfortable or you don't know understand some part of unix like that i'm getting comments too so if you guys guys want me to do prepare a course for you to crack the ira only for the ira like the basic stuffs like variables loops conditional statements with only that for python as well as java and also for unix if you want me to do that i'll do it and if you want me to create a community for you people and train you guys on the previous questions and make you crack the ira you want that kind of course or you want just a course which we will use to learn by yourself or if you want me to guide you through a community to crack your ERAs. Please let me know in the comments. I'm just confused about these things. And I'm going to launch a tutorial video on Python and Java as well for this particular exam. As you have a lot of tutorials out there. I want mine to be something different. So I'm just going to put in half an hour tutorial uh, and it is going to be a lot more useful for you guys, I think and yeah so this is my uh, doubts i want your suggestions and if you have any other suggestions suggestions too please comment it down and yeah i think the quality of the audio is better right now if not please make sure you inform me that so i can do something else to make sure it is better and perfect yeah that's it for this question and it is a pretty easy question you can easily get 10 marks for this one only thing is you have to learn three commands which is grep tr and awk if you know awk command itself you don't want to even know about grep and tr you can do everything in the awk command itself so grep and tr are additional and my favorite commands which i use usually so i want that uh you for i wanted to tell that for you also so i'm just doing it yeah and that's it for this video guys i'll meet you in the next one until then this is your very own code doremon signing off keep learning keep rocking bye bye cheers